Job seeking process and recruitment has revolved due to the advancement in information technology. That is why freelancers and job seekers need to be intentional when they are submitting their resume and also cover letter. You might be wondering why you have not been called by the HR for an interview. Today we are going to be giving you how you can start getting that dream job by being intentional with your resume and also your cover letter. In case you're just coming across this video, this is Econa where we talk about everything entrepreneurship, financial pathways, and making money online. And as usual, I am Tio Filos of Bango, who's going to be driving you through this um, tutorial. Recruiters has actually gone away from the traditional way we used to uh, make uh, posts for a job opening. Usually, you get to see a company um, um, put a sign post outside the office for a job opening, but now information technology has made it uh, more easier for them to put their job openings online. And for you to get that as um, a freelancer, as a job seeker, you need to be intentional. The HR department um, of that particular company um, particularly use a particular tracking system that is called ATS, which is Applicant Tracking System. Applicant Tracking System tends to um, scan through numbers of applications um, using keywords. So as a freelancer or a job seeker, you need to structure your um, resume to have keywords. Keywords in terms of what is that particular job role you are applying for? You need to have um, keywords like, I give an example, let's say graphic design. Everything that has to do with graphic design, you have to structure it. So if you have multiple set of skills, try as much as possible to align a particular skill for a particular job post. Welcome to my screen. Um, this article has been carefully written and we have samples that can guide you. If you see the title, it says how to write a resume and cover letter to get hired. So if you watch this video to the end, you'll be able to get a link for you to be able to download this. And um, let's just go straight. Um, very good. So we have a sample resume. Your resume must align with uh, whatever job um, post you are looking for, no matter um, your set of skills. If you have multiple skills, give an example, graphic design, video editing, um, script writing, any other thing. But this particular job is centering on um, graphic design. So your CV must contain the following. First name, last name, the position that you are applying for, which is um, a creative graphic designer. Yes, you can acclaim that. It's, um, it makes the um, the HR see you as a very professional person by adding that to um, your job role, calling yourself a creative graphic designer. Um, your, your location, your phone number, your email, and your LinkedIn. Please always input this in your resume. Now, see this now. As of 2015, um, is a creative um, designer. As a 2012, is an illustration artist. As at um, 2010, um, he was an assistant creator. As a 28, he was a visual designer. 25, a concept artist. Did you see? And the last place talks about him graduating. So you see um, he, he has less of his educational background but more of a skill that he's offering. So this is what um, your HR um, wants to see on your CV. Another mistake um, people have been making is um, having a well um, colorful um, resume. Most of you want to have a very colorful resume. You're going to put your passport, a passport photograph there they are going to do it in a way that it looks very presentable very good take notes every resume is meant for different purpose if you are using a resume that has um, more of artworks and everything it is best used for a website show off 
Yes, you can put it to show off your um, skills, your face, when you are putting it in a website. But when you are submitting um, your resume to recruiters, try as much as possible to have a simple resume. A simple resume that has a, a job title and has responsibilities of what you've done over the years. A good cover letter does not talk more about your educational background. It does not talk more about you as a person. It talks more about your skill. It talks more about how you can be able to help that company scale up from where they are. How you can be able to bring innovations with your skills and everything. Those are all you can use while writing your cover letter. Now for, for a good cover letter, a good cover letter, we have an example. You can you can get this example using ChatGPT. Um, you can also get this example and just tweak it a bit. I'm going to watch this video to this point because I will be giving you one particular tip which I believe if you implement in your resume, you'll be able to get that call from that HR. Well, try as much as possible to put your LinkedIn profile in your resume because linkedin is one good social tool recruiters hr use in also recruiting talents job seekers like yourself so try as much as possible to input your linkedin profile so if you're wondering what linkedin is about i have a particular video we've made that has to do with linkedin uh, optimization you can watch this to actually get a, a good knowledge about what that is talking about. Try as much as possible to implement everything you've learned today. Try as much as possible to make those corrections and try as much as possible to be intentional whenever you are applying for a job. Well, this is how we come to the end of today's edition of Econal and I believe you all have actually learned a lot. Try as much as possible to hit the subscribe button so that people are going to get value from this because YouTube is going to recommend this to people also searching for content like this. Try as much as possible to drop a comment, let us know what you think about um, the topic and also try as much as possible to subscribe. Subscribe so that this um, channel is going to be recommended to large numbers of people who also need this content. Please spread the love and keep spreading the love.